Dark and Darker is an amazing fantasy extraction game with the goal of immersing the player into their world and creating a place that the user does not want to leave. With the amazing scenery of the game, combat styles, and gameplay mechanic comes the difficult challenges that the player will face in the different types of dungeons. These challenges come in all different shapes and sizes. They go from mummies to skeletons to centipedes to wraiths to even some of the bigger bosses like the troll and even some of the bosses from down under in hell. These can all lead to very frustrating engagements in the game. That's why today, I, a fellow noob to the game, will be playing 20 raids in Dark and Darker's Goblin Caves, which is a solo only map, and we are going to see what I can accomplish as a very new player. By the end of this video, I want to have achieved three different tasks. These are very simple tasks and they include extracting with some amount of loot, just getting something out of a raid, killing one enemy player, and I want to attempt to fight the troll boss at least a couple times. Now when all three of these tasks are completed, I will have mastered the first couple hours of this game and if you guys do like this type of video, I will make a 20 raids inside of the hell level of the dungeon. And without further ado, let's hop into raid number one. So our journey starts with someone named David the Daddy, and he will be our daddy on our task to complete 20 raids in Dark and Darker. So spawning into our first raid in the Goblin Caves, I'm surrounded by goblins in a place full of mud, full of rock walls, and I'm immediately engaged by a gang of goblins. I don't know how to defend myself. I barely know how to attack. Already getting hit by rocks, I'm against a very tough battle, and if I win, I will leave with lots of loot. So we will be pretending that raid number one never really happened. It was more of a learning experience. But now we spawned in one of these huge rooms with all the goblins. And I had to fight my way out of this room, collect some good loot, and find a way to extract. Will I do that successfully? Ugh, only God knows. After finding some good loot, looting some chests, we run into our very first player, and this interaction will not be forgotten. After getting hit by a fireball by what I thought was a very skilled opponent, we soon figure out that Mr. Timmy needed a moment of silence for his actions. After saying goodbye to our good old friend, the wizard, we decided to let him be, let him rest in peace, and we went and fought as many goblins as possible, gathered as much loot as possible, stopped by the troll to say hello, and then we continued on looking for an evac portal to escape these gnarly, gnarly caves. With the circle closing in at my feet, I thought I was completely out of luck, and shockingly enough, I was. I could not see, my screen was black, there were no portals anywhere, and sadly this was the end of my life in this raid. After completing raid number 2, David the Daddy reached level 5 and this allowed us to unlock an extra perk slot to put something on, and with that slot we put on weapon mastery, which allows us to use literally any weapon in the game. Was this a good choice for a perk? I don't know. Will we find out? We will. One thing I have learned from playing this map so many times now is that as soon as you spawn, you are in danger almost immediately. There are players all around you, you're facing goblins the whole time, and little did I know that this raid, I would fight one of the greatest Giga Chads known to this generation. Could I beat him? That's not up to me, that's up to fate. Following a loss by another loss by another loss, I didn't want to give up hope. I wanted to keep going, strive for greatness, and try to become one of the greatest dark and darker players this generation's ever seen. So, I put my head down, got back into the goblin caves, 
and went forward once again. As soon as I loaded in, I started to rethink my strategy. I was too focused on killing as many people as possible that I had to focus on just surviving the elements of the goblin caves, defeating the mummies, defeating the goblins, defeating all of the monsters, and then gathering as much loot as possible and hopefully getting one of our objectives of getting a player kill, evacuating with some loot, or even attempting the troll. But again, hardship fell on us once again. We had a fight for our lives and luckily or unluckily, it came down to seconds. Now, fighting enemy players might not be my forte, but that's why we have to switch it up and go after the troll. If you don't know about the troll, basically, you have to go into the goblin caves, go into the middle of the map, and you're going to find a staircase in this one area, and then you can open this door and have a chance to fight the troll. Is it easy? No. Will it be difficult? Absolutely. Is it possible? I don't know. With that being said, David the Daddy is ready for his next journey into the Goblin Caves. We are going to fight our way into the middle of the map and attempt the troll boss for the very first time. Keep in mind, I am not looking at any tutorials, any videos. I am going in completely blind, have no idea what to expect, and off we go. Now opening this door, I was not prepared for what was to come. This is my very first interaction with the troll and you have to see how it went down. Not so good. That didn't go according to plan, but at least we finished one of our tasks, which was attempt the troll boss. Sure, we didn't defeat him, but for the first time around, you know, it went according to plan. When I started recording this video, I did not think that this game would be this difficult to master. I thought I would hop in, get a couple kills, start shredding lobbies, and go on to the next. But as we can see, I am not good at this game. I am still learning the mechanics, and I am getting wiped game after game after game. <clears throat> you know what? Screw this, man. I'm done. I'm never playing this game again. I suck. I'm terrible. I hate it here. We all have our moments. Stuff is going to happen, but you know what? At the end of the day, we have to bunker down, get ready, and in this game, I told myself, okay, Vashk, fight the goblins, fight the ghouls, get out of here with some loot, and that's exactly what I did. And just like that, we finally did it. We got our very first successful evac, and we can finally check something off of our list, which is completing a very first extract. Now I made sure I had everything in my inventory, went over to the collector, and I made sure to give him all of my goodies to get as much gold as humanly possible. After my first successful extract, I was feeling confident and I was ready to take on whoever came across my path.
Except for that guy. That guy was on something different. But forgetting about that guy, we just got into another raid and tried to decimate the competition once more. was much more like it we're not done yet okay we've got some good evacs under our belt but it's time to dominate the competition in the pve standards can i destroy every single goblin in my region let's find out At this point, it's more of an addiction. No matter how rough things get, I just press start game and I'm in the game in about three seconds. So, on to the next. Now, at this point, I was feeling pretty confident and I was ready for my first PvP fight where I actually had a chance. After healing up completely, I knew it was David the Daddy's time for battle. did not matter to me. This was my very first kill and I was just happy to be able to get one. And you would think that this raid would end in a positive note, but I always find a way to turn it around. Yep, that happened. But you have to think of the positives because we completed all of our challenges as we did just eliminate our very first player but with that being said we have one more goal in mind this is going to save all of our gear until the very last raid and then use all of it at once and see what we can escape with using all of the best gear we have Now, after watching that catastrophic fight, the next four raids went something like this. Death, followed by death, followed by death, followed by death. And as you guys know, in rough times, the only thing that can fix them is friendships, being around people that you love. And that's why I found myself my best friend. And his name was Skelly, and he'll accompany me in this raid. We moved on through the caverns, just peeking stuff out. He would loot some chests, I would break some vases, I'd grab some loot, and soon we would encounter an enemy that I did not know would be my demise. Yeah, that raid went pretty badly, but at least in this raid, we made it out alive. Oh. Wait. After all these raids, you know what? Let's just kill some goblins, maybe try the troll, and just see what happens.
after defeating some goblins and getting some loot, I decided to take my chance at the troll boss, but I didn't really want to push myself all the way there. By not fully committing, I put myself in an even worse position. It is time. Fully prepared for my last raid, I brought in everything that I earned over these last 20 raids. And with that being said, let's dominate. So the general consensus is that I suck at this game, and if you do want to see a part 2, let's reach that 250 like goal, and with that being said, I will see you in the next one.